Welcome once again to The Locker. I am your host, Legends of Cybertron, and you can find me on Instagram. Now, this I'm going to be doing a bit more, bit of a different type of review this time, because it's not an actual review. It's going to be a mail haul video. And when I say mail haul, I mean I got these in two different shipments in one day, so... I mean, <laughs> you know, once you get a mail haul like this, you probably normally skint for the month after. Which, um... It's technically not true with me. I'll be probably skint for another three months, but there you have it. <laughs> so, as you can see, in this mail haul, we have Sea Spray Beach Coma, Grapple, New Age Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper, Uderman uh, Bumblebee, Inferno from Papa Toys, Transart Optimus Primal, and Magic Squares Motormaster. Now, as it stands, I uh, I have opened him. I've opened the side and I've opened the side of him. And I've opened him. And then I thought, do you know what? No, I'm going to put him away. I'm not going to properly look at him, even though I want to do this video. So I haven't actually ho opened him, that one, that one, or that one. But this one, this one, and this one, I, I have opened, but I thought, I'm going to re-close them and show you in turn. So... First off is Uderman, UI01 Bumblebee. Now, the box is quite nice, it's quite plain, if I'm being honest, but, as you can hear, a bit more rattling around inside. So we're just going to open this up, that was a bit too harsh, and you get a nice little jetpack, that's not quite nice actually, it's quite nice isn't it, fits on the back. And you get the instructions. Let's have a look at the. I'm not going to look at the instructions fully. Oh yeah, they're, they're easy enough to follow. Yeah, okay. I'll show you them in a proper review. And this is Uderman's Bumblebee. Now, right away, I can see that the face isn't as detailed, or it's not as. Where's the other one gone? Where's mine? Yeah, that's New Ages. So it's a bit... Sorry. There's New Ages next to Uderman's. Yeah, I'm not... They're both the same height. So they are they are basically the same height. It's quite nice. Quite nice. Quite a nice figure. Um, I just need to make sure that these guys... Folded up in the correct places. I'm sure this goes up. Yeah. That goes into there like so. I wonder why they kept it down. Hmm. Pretty sure that goes in there like that. Yeah, there you go. One in there. Hmm, is that a different fitting than that one? No, it's the same fitting. Still, it's not a bad bot. It's it's basically the cheaper version of New Age here. It's not too bad. I think the plastic is different. I will give it that. It is different. And it is basically a carbon copy of New Age's Bumblebee. But I quite like it. It's nice. Nice enough. And then obviously that goes on the back there. Like that. Do you know I can't remember if you get that in the New Age Bumblebee or not? Something's telling me you don't. Either way, does it fit on New Age Bumblebee? Oh, it does. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> not bad at all. So, that's Uderman Bumblebee. Not too bad. I'd say... I'd probably give it a 6, what, 6 out of 10? And I am quite a generous fella, so yeah, that's probably about right. And you get his gum. She's exactly the same, really. I'll do a nice review on this bee. Nothing moves just like New Age's Bumblebee, so we'll just put him over there. Like so, out the way. Or there, put him there, you can zoom to see him. 
and let's just put these away. Ready for a review some other time. So, uh, go on, we'll put him over there. Let's take a look at Transart Optimus Primal, which I have opened, as I've already said. Now this little figure, I came across, obviously you get the instructions, it's quite good. Uh, this figure I came across about a week before Ben's Collectibles reviewed him. And I was like, oh, Ben's Collectibles have reviewed him. I'm so, I'm so glad I've got him. Now, don't get me wrong, I quite like this figure. But he is very, the, the uh, plastic is thin. The head was back there when I first opened it up, so I had to bring it forward and have it clip into that clip there, which isn't too bad. And as for transformation, I'm not even transforming him yet. I know I tried doing this foot, but it was very, very stiff bringing it back out. So, uh, he can have um, bending his knees and so on and so forth. And you also get his sword-type daggers effort. And quite, I quite like that. But yeah, I, I um, about a week before I saw Ben's Collectibles, which was a good month ago now when um, when I saw his review, uh, I came across this on a picture uh, someone had posted online, and I was just like, oh, okay. He comes with two heads, an Optimus Prime head, or another version of Optimus Primal's head, sorry, and Optimus Primal's head, obviously, as well. And you get his weapons as well. Very careful not to break this. Now I'm not I'm not very well up on Beast Wars, but I am more well up on Beast Machines. Quite like him. Put Rudim in there. So that's that one. I'm, I'm quite happy actually with it. Quite happy with the actual figure itself. Now I must have, now this is going to be a, ve a bit of a long video because it's a mail haul and I've got quite a few items here. So let's go for grapple next because I've already opened this guy. To be fair, I mean Papa Toys. I mean you do get the instructions, obviously. And you get. Just take me time taking this off. The last time I did it, I nearly took his through threw his face out. The thing, get a face with him. I think that's for his holes. I'm not sure. Obviously, that's for his hand. You get a smaller one as well. You get guns. Quite good. And then obviously the figure. I would say he's probably about the height of make fans toys. Quite good posability on him. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah. I think I'd make fans toys is a better figure, but I mean this isn't really this isn't too bad. That extend anyway that's that's the figure quite nice quite like it so i'm taking that's what grapple's gonna look like when i pull about the uh, box let's see if that's his hand mm, no i don't think his hand's coming off is it one of them where you've got to unscrew it maybe oh apparently it goes in the right hand oh see the right hand just popped right off then I always thought they went in the left hand, not the right. Or does it depend on where, where you watch it? The instructions say the right hand. See? Pretty sure. No, no, then it says the left hand. Ugh. Stupid instructions. Oh, there we are. Left hand's off. Doo doo! Not too bad. Bit more articulation. 
I'll go about more into that the more I uh, when I review them. So that's that one. Uh, yeah, I've gone over the accessories for that. Got him there. I'm really excited to get to Motormaster, you see. I've seen so many reviews of people doing Motormaster and I go, oh, where's my Motormaster? Obviously, he was stuck in transit, so I'm just going to shove him over there. I'm going to go for Beachcomber and Sea Spray this time. Now, these two I have not opened up, I swear. Okay. Oh, yeah, you get two cards with this. You get two sets of instructions. It's thick instructions, but you get two cards anyway. I hope that's two separate cards and not two of Sea Spray. No, it's two separate cards. Yay! So I'll put that there. Oh, yeah, I like him. Look at Beachcomber. How cool is he? Standing next to him and Bumblebee. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mini bots are high. Have I got Magic Squib Bumblebee? I have. Here we are. Definitely need Magic Squib Cliff Jumper now. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Quite like that. Oh, yes. Very much like that. Which is his gun. Oh, of course, it's the one underneath it, John, is silly ass. <laughs> Which is his gun? Would it be the one that's underneath him? Oh, yeah. Has he got rotation on the feet? Oh, he has. Look at that. He's got, he can turn his feet out like so. Oh, yeah, I like, I'm liking the bit of beach coma. Let's have a look at Sea Spray. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I like him. Oh, yeah. I don't think his arms come out or bend. Maybe, maybe not. It says that they bend. Oh, yeah, yeah, they bend. Oh yeah, see, I've got to, I've got to check it out. There we go. And obviously, his feet on peg. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Interesting. I quite like him too. I bet I've waited a long time to be fair for sea spray and beach comber. But it's one of the, the that the, that set that I look at and go, I'll get that next time, and then I don't get it. And then I regret it by not getting it. <laughs> it's, it's one of them. How long have I been recording for now? Is it 13 minutes? I'm trying not to bore people as I go along. They're going, oh my god, look at this, and oh my god, look at that. Let's have a look at New Age Bumblebee. I mean, look at them. New Age Bumblebee and New Age Cliff Jumper. Herbie and Vanishing Point. So he is called Herbie then. Right, because I said in me, I was it an Iron, Iron Hide video? I couldn't tell, I couldn't remember if it was called Herbie or not. It's one of the videos I've just recently done. Ooh, ah, Bumblebee gear, you get a backpack in this, or is that Cliff Jumpers? I know them are Cliff Jumpers. Oh, yeah, now thanks to uh. Hale Hasbro reviews or uh, Deluxe Baldwin, call them what you will. The awesome guy over on YouTube and Instagram. Um, he showed that these things, these ice um, snow uh, treads, are uh, magnetic. Oh, what's that's that? Why is that on top? Interesting. Oh, wow. <laughs> Oh, wow, they're small. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is so tiny. 
I've got, I've got to overkill this one now. Oh! I can see why they called him Herbie. Oh my goodness. Should I even... I'm not going to transform him. Get the instructions. Whoa, that's a, that's a thick book of instructions. Oh no, it's just folded up several hundred times. It's quite... Oh, it's quite huge. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, it's got Bumblebee and Cliff Jumpers instructions here. Right. <laughs> For all those that thought I was going to transform it. Haha, -ha, no, I'm not going to do it. Instead, I'll put a picture on Instagram. You have to have a look on there. Ha ha. There, there. Ow. They are tiny. Tiny. Tiny bots. I feel like I should keep reiterating that, you know, they are tiny bots. They are tiny. They are really smally, small, smally, smally and tiny. Now, pretty much this is going to be like Inferno. Yeah, pretty much like Inferno. Oh, hello. You get these blasters, pretty much the same blasters as Inferno. Oh, he's looking up. Why is he looking up? Oh, wow, look at the instruction book. Have I done that? Or was it like that in the first place? Well, you get instructions with it. And he's looking up for some reason. Now he's looking down. Hey, hello. Right, okay. Could I, I'm gonna, just going to put that gun in his hand. Oh, that was quite easy to put in. Oh, wow, that came off. Call me the breaker. Is it me? Am I am I just rough handling these? <laughs> Looks like you get a bucket. Uh, one of those. Um, uh, oh, I can't remember them. What you put at the end of a ladder? Get one of those. You get an extra face. Looks like it's the same. Like it's the same as in Inferno, and you get a uh, one of those as well for his hand. Oh, we got a hook. There's a hook. I wonder where that was. Hook. There you go. Put that in there, so we don't lose it. Oh, we're on to the big one now. We're on to the big one. I'm just going to put these guys over here. Wow, they, I still can't get over how small they are. Oh, right then. Here we go. I think when I review this, I'm not going to review me transforming the trailer. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at the book. Oh my god. Look at the book. It's a novel. It's a children's novel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, obviously, it's not a children's novel. It's damn near close to it. It's at least a chapter. Wow. <laughs> wow. When you get the bits there, too, from Menasaur. The extra bits. Excellent. Excellent. Menasaur's face, obviously. Oh, wow, look at all that when you get in it. Look at all that. Obviously, it's just a trailer, this. But look at the guns, the swords. Look at Motormaster himself. I can't wait to transform this guy. I can't wait to transform him. Which I'm not doing now. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just unboxing. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, look at that. Finally have him. Oh, doesn't he look awesome? Doesn't he? And, with the pictures I've seen, this guy is the same size as Optimus Prime. And I don't mind the size, if I'm being honest. I really don't mind the size. This is awesome. Yeah, I think in the review I'll transform him and then... 
not the trailer. I'll just do the trailer off camera and then um, basically fix him to the back of the uh, Menasaur kit in the video, I think. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I'm going to do. Let's have a look at the old trailer. Ooh, look at that. It was heavy too. I mean, obviously, it's hot. It's housing a hell of a lot inside there because, I mean, it's going to turn into a massive robot. But this, this is quite heavy. Yeah, it's quite heavily, heavy indeed. Oh, look, there's, there's the head. There's the chest. There's them feet that turn. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have fun transforming that because I'm going to watch Kato's video. <laughs> Sorry, Kato, but I am, mate. I'm going to watch your video. I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> Is that supposed to come down? Oh no, 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 it's alright. This is awesome! Oh, can I fix it on, I wonder? Or do I have to move them? Oh no, probably not. Does that go in there? Oh, I think that goes in there! Oh yes. Actually, you know what? Cliff jump from Bumblebee, Bumblebee, like this, scale very nicely, don't they? Oh yeah. I quite like those. Anyway, that is pretty much it uh, for the unboxing video, or the mail haul video, as I'm going to call it from now on. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope I've not bored you too much. Uh, and uh, please like, subscribe, tell your friends about me. Uh, share as much as you like, and um, I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye for now.